Hi, this is Kelly, and today I am going to play Cupid with this Blue Girl Holly. This was a, a little sucker that I found growing off of my bigger Blue Girl Holly, and this little Blue Boy Holly that was also a sucker that I had planted earlier this year. Um, a lot of greenhouses will plant the male and the female together so that uh, if you want to buy a standalone plant rather than more than one then it will still get the pollination it needs. What I have here is a, a larger pot. I believe this is probably a gallon and a half or two gallon pot and I just put some gravel in the bottom of it and this will serve two purposes. Uh, first it will add some extra drainage to the bottom but it will also add some heft to the pot so that it won't blow or tip over easily. The first thing that I'm going to do, I have my bucket of moistened soil here which is a mixture of uh, peat moss and perlite. I'm going to put a layer of that in the bottom. Maybe I should move these while I do that so I don't destroy any of the delicate roots. So I'm just going to put maybe uh, one to two inches of this in the bottom. It's not an exact science because the blue girl Holly has a little bit longer root system than the boy at this time and I want to make sure to cover all of her root system so that she has the best chance of getting started. Okay, now I'm going to place her in and you can see she's got a, a long root here. She's got some smaller ones here, 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 and here. So I want to try to get all of those to be under the soil. I'm going to put a little bit more dirt on top of her before I put the boy in because he's in a little bit shallower pot and has a little bit more shallow root system at this point. He'll grow bigger and his roots will grow deeper. Okay, now I'm going to try to place him. And what I do is I just put my hand over the opening of the pot and sometimes squeeze the pot gently. I didn't really have to squeeze this time. And I'm going to place him somewhere near the girl. I might build him up just a little bit more. Just so the He's closer to the rim of the pot. I hear one of the roosters in the background making his presence known. I'm not sure if it's Willie or Kenny. But I'm going to fill this pot so that all of the roots are covered. And the greenery still remains on top so that it could get the sunlight that it needs to grow. Try to even out the dirt. Tamp it down a little bit so there's no air pockets inside and that the roots are in full contact with the soil. This is a, a much more uh, inexpensive mix than a bag of potting soil. Uh, not sure the exact cost, but I know that a bag of potting soil is probably somewhere around $10. And um, this figures out to be much cheaper and just as effective. 
be a little bit more around this girl. I'm going to use my hand as I get close to the plants so I can be as gentle as possible to not uh, break any leaves or any roots or the stem. And again, tamp down the dirt so that it's even and hopefully there are no air pockets remaining. And now I'm going to give it some water to give it a good drink. I don't have a watering can. My husband supplies me with a lot of iced tea jugs so reuse recycle i use what i have and this works just as well uh you just have to be a little bit more careful um not to dump you know a lot because it'll create a, a big hole in your soil just a, a little tiny drizzle all the way around if I wanted to, I could drill holes in the lid of this iced tea jug and make it more like a sprinkling water can. But they are now joined in holy matrimony and I hope that they, they grow to be huge with, uh, with lots of birds living happily within their their leaves and stems once they get bigger and now I think I have a, a rain garden that I need to attend to so thank you for watching and if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe bye